With 90% of our global trade waterborne, it's critical to keep these supply chains moving efficiently. S&P Global Platts has a history going back over 100 years and uses its experience and knowledge of the commodity and energy markets to offer its customers a more transparent and environmentally friendly solution to container shipping. It's a high-risk, capital-intensive industry out on the world's oceans where the drive to improve operational efficiency, reducing costs and growing revenue depend on comprehensive market intelligence. Turn to the specialists. Providing clients with the very latest trade intelligence has been the backbone of what began as Standard & Poor's ever since Mr Henry Poor published his investor tips on the emerging railways back in 1860. At a time when the shipyards here on the Isle of Dogs were getting established. Now S&P Global Platts offers the world's shipping industry up-to-the-minute insights and economies in a highly competitive market. To help understand what drives the complex dynamics of the shipping industry, S&P Global Platts Container News and Pricing provides transparency about the containers market with data, insights and the latest bunker and container trend analysis. Based on the Isle of Dogs, the team at Platts have pioneered daily transparent bunker charges that assess a route's fuel price up front, helping clients manage risk and save money. I was working with one of my US clients who are a medium-sized retailer, and we worked out that their bunker fuel cost is about one and a half million dollars. However, they brought in a consultant who said that actually, if they used a transparent methodology and formula, they could have saved $150,000, which is about 10%. And with the range of bunker fuel assessments that we have, we've been able to create these numbers in-house and then develop them, and we're really seeing some strong adoption. Despite trade volatility due to the pandemic, surprisingly positive vessel earnings have been reported due to more efficient fleet management with increased consolidation of ship owners, plus spot demand for goods such as PPE and home office equipment. From the S&P Global Platts office in Singapore, trends in container rates and volumes attract. At Platts, we assess a variety of spot container rates on various routes. Um, one of them that we've seen uh, or that has gained a lot of interest is the Trans-Pacific route that is from North Asia to West Coast North America. Um, prices have really gone up, especially in the past month. That's about three times what it cost to ship something last month versus in January. What we've seen from a volume perspective is that one sector has really been more resilient and outperformed the rest, and that's the intra-Asia trade. The need to cope with such unpredictability and keep up with changes in environmental legislation has inspired innovation in the client offerings of Platts beyond container freight markets. We've launched things like low sulfur fuel oil assessments, we've launched LNG bunkering assessments and we've launched dry bulk time charter equivalent assessments and uniquely they're dual fuel so they both reflect the dollar a day cost of hiring a ship that's fueled with low sulfur fuel oil but also at the same time one that's using scrubber technology to use high sulfur fuel oil. Also we've launched hydrogen assessments for the first time so we're always looking to the future, to the, the potential future fuels that's going to keep fueling the industry into the next um, few decades. Sustainability is key in a world of new regulations, shifting geopolitics and volatile fuel prices, making access to timely, transparent and connected insights more crucial than ever before.